Gnosis. You have consciousness and quantum theory as fundamental to reality, both the physical side with quantum theory and consciousness in terms of awareness of what's going on. What I want to know is why you have anything. Why is there anything at all? That's a good question, Robert. And I would ask, answer back, why not? <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, all the whys, truly speaking, can never be understood. It's really more how. Science is, doesn't ask or doesn't give answers to the whys. It only gives answers to how. How the particles move, how the fields manifest in space-time, but not the whys. The why is a fundamental philosophical question. And I would say that why there is anything or reality is because perhaps this is a meaningful universe or this is a conscious universe that is there for us to experience all there is. You're giving a reason why, but, but you're using the concept of meaning of justifying the existence of, of anything. But if you, if you don't have anything, you don't have meaning. You don't have anything. If you don't have anything, you don't have any meaning. If you don't have anything, you have, what I would say, an irrelevant universe or an irrelevant existence. So the universe we live in seems to be meaningful. It seems to be mindful. And it seems to be evolving all the time. Does that justify its existence, though? That is the core, the very core of its existence. Now... Justify means I'm stepping out and I'm asking the question yes, why. Yes. I'm stepping out. Right. And I would say you can never step out. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's why the meaning is part of the whole thing. The soup is part so of So because we are in the system, yes. in the in the reality, we are incapable, you're saying, of of asking about the reality in its totality. We can ask questions such as that, but how can we address them scientifically or even philosophically if we cannot extract ourselves from the existence? If we are part of the existence from the get-go, and I, when I say we, I don't really mean yeah. you, Robert, right. and myself, Minas. I don't really mean it that way. But if our very existence as conscious being is fundamental, then you can never extract it. It's always there. And so does that give consciousness uh, a, a fundamental uh, self-existence and therefore answer the question of why is there anything at all? It's, does it's, that justify it? It is that? so much the whole thing that you can't ask questions outside of it. You can, but those questions are still in consciousness. Even if you dream of universes that don't exist, they're still in consciousness. You can't, you can't get them so out. We, so what you're saying, we, we can't escape from consciousness we no matter what we do. And so to ask why is there consciousness in the first place becomes meaningless. Is that It's right? a circular argument. It's a circular question because you can't extract yourself from it. 